this is Sim and we are back with more period cube in Libera's route. And we were just getting attacked by the Griffin thing, but then we saw a bright light. So I'm thinking we're back in the real world. And the bright light happened, and then it went into chapter four. Or I'm sorry, quest four. Which is why we thought it was a good place to stop, even though it's kind of like cliffhangery, because hey, the game said it's chapter four. <clears throat> sorry, quest four. Perfect time to stop. Anyway. So we're going to find out what this bright light is, which is either us doing magic or it's we're getting pulled back into the real world. But I don't really know why, because I feel like we didn't complete the quest. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, it's so bright. What happened? Nope. Oh. Who are you? Is he trying to say something? His mouth moved, but I couldn't hear. Flames! Return it to ashes! Cold Ignis! I'm not doing her voice right. I don't know what happened to me. Whatever. Roar! Ow! Libera! This person is pointing into the woods. Does he want us to go that way? Hey, Libera! And that person there! What are you going on about? I said you're in the way! Hurry up and run! I can never do that! Spacey! Let's go, Libera! This way! I grabbed Libera's hand and pulled us into the woods. Uh-huh! Wait! Where are you going? The man far ahead beckoned for us to follow him. No, we can't escape it! This guy's helping us get away! Huh? What guy? Look, over there! Where? I don't see anyone! Huh? You can't see him? I looked startled, but saw him waving. Is that a cave? He could mean for us to go inside. Screech! It's still after us! Let's run into that cave while we can! I think we'll be able to escape it! But if it follows us in, neither of us stand a chance against it. I think we should regroup with Forte. Grrr! No, from this side, too? Grrr! We're surrounded. Pierce! Alea! Tonatrus! That comes up like a million times in this game, and I still know how to say it. Stumbled back from Liberia's magic. Contact! Now let's... Grrr! Get back! Liberia! Er, I guess it's no use. My magic has no effect on it. Wait, maybe one of my skills can... God, you're stupid. There's no way your attacks could help. Hurry up and find a chance to escape. I'm in danger so long as you're here. Can't you understand that I'm better off without you? That's not true. I couldn't see how she could win at all. She's trying to let me escape. It was the same as back then, when Heroya tried to let me escape. I want the power of the Almighty. There was no use in having it if I couldn't use it at a time like this. I want it now. God, please give me the strength. Just this once. Well, you've already used it once, so. This... No, wait. Yeah. I know this feeling. This path, though, like all the other ones we've been pretty useless, we've only used it in a panic, and now we're like, I'm gonna use it! Strength was overflowing for me. The Almighty! Please, let me protect Libera. So this is the power of the Almighty. I have no idea who's saying it. It's the voice of that man. I could finally hear him. Oh. Okay, it's supposed to be, what's it? No. How? Could it be that you can see me? How? Riku. <gasps> oh my god! I didn't see that one coming! Oh my god! That's why Liberia. 
Sarah didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave because... Oh! Oh, the feels! Oh, my heart! Oh, I just died a little inside. Oh, that's so sad! Oh, no! My brother killed your brother! Oh, sweetie, you need a hug so bad. Oh, I can't even... Anyway, brother... Brother, can you hear my voice? What is this? What's going on? Why? It's me, Natsu. It's your brother. That's not possible. No! Oh, that's true, because Natsu's... A oh, no, Natsu's actually dead in the real world. And maybe that's why Liberia didn't want to go back, because Liberia's been in it since beta testing, right? Because his brother worked on it, right? Riku. Riku's his name, I guess. Um... Riku's brother is not too obvious. Look, oh, okay. Well, hey, Spacey! Hello, Captain Obvious! Welcome to the obvious plane! Um, so, that's probably why he got into beta testing so early, because his brother made the game. But, that's true, I totally forgot that Natsu died in an accident. So he's actually totally dead, so it's not like, uh, okay, so I was like, Oh my god, we can't bring him back! No, wait, no, wait, never mind. No, we can't, and we can't, because it's not our fault, so I'm okay with this. I don't feel, I feel, I still feel bad, but, so this is, oh, this is gonna hurt him so bad, her, I know it's really weird, I'm switching back and forth, Liberia is a she, but Riku is a he, so I, anyway, that's not possible, no, you have to come to the Ark, Riku, I'll get you back to the real world, no, Riku, like hell I'm going to the Ark, what are you saying, at this rate, we'll be a, be destroyed along with World V. What does he mean by that? You have to get back sooner. I don't give a shit about going back. Riku. I mean, there's no place for me in the real world. What? My mom and dad are... Shut up! Stop making them shit to say to me! You... You're the one who died! My power is fucking awesome! I mean, it's kind of fucking amazing that the monsters were like, they're having a family moment. And I was like, shh, guys, they're having a family moment. And they were like, yeah, yeah, we get it. Scream! Like, it's awkward. And they're like, oh, oh I want to attack you. Like, and they just waited to attack. And anyway, they're gone. The monsters and that man. My body suddenly felt heavy, and I struggled to stay standing. Where's Libera? Libera, are you okay? Are you hurt? I spoke out to her, but she just stood there silently. I heard the word brother earlier. I couldn't have misheard that, right? And you were the one who died. Does she mean... Mission complete! The words mission complete appeared in front of me. Complete. Uh, so that must have been the boss. W what? Uh, my vision is starting to go blurry. Oh, so I'm betting Riku is in the hospital. Because he's been there for a while, so. Libera began to disappear. Libera! Oh, this is Shiki's apartment. I lifted my head up from the desk and looked around the room. I really did come back. The monitor in front of me still showed accessing World V. The time on the clock hadn't moved much. It wasn't a dream, was it? My fingers brushed against something hard on the desk. Oh, my phone. I had been talking to Haroya on the phone and dropped it when I fainted. Come to think of it, Haroya must still be in World V. Um, here's the thing. Hardly any time has passed, but they found him. Within, like, he's only been in there for, like, an hour or a couple. You know what I mean? Hello, Spacey? Uh, Mrs. Tachibana. I was surprised. It's been a while. Yes, um, so, Haroya. Well. 
Okay, because I was like, how are we going to get to the hospital? Because I'm assuming Riku's in the hospital. I'm assuming his name is Riku because his brother called him Riku. But I'm assuming he's in, like, we saw him in the hospital that one time. So that's why I was just thinking, like, we're going to have to run into him. But if he's in the hospital, how are we going to run into him? So, <sighs> please be quiet. Don't run. I I'm sorry. Please be quiet. I'm panting, bitch. I could be dying. Face. That would be the difference. Please be quiet. <gasps> <gasps> oh, over here, Spacey. Miss Tajibana. Um, Heroya. He still won't wake up. Uh, the doctor thinks it's a case of idiopathic coma. Idiopathic coma? I've heard it's become common among young people, younger people his age. I should have warned him not to play games so much. Oh my god. I... Wait, so am I in a coma right now? somewhere and in my coma dreams i go to work every day because like fucking a spacey snap out of it and have a good coma dream fuck like, that would suck well it sounds like the seventh circle of hell so he only lost consciousness because he's in world v and since he was on his way to the palace he probably didn't do a special quest but he's still alive he must still be safe in continuing his journey I don't think his parents would believe me if I told them that. I'm sure you were surprised, too. And after such a long time apart... No, no. It seems he still has a good chance of waking up, so don't worry. Could you let me know if he does? Of course. I'm sure he'd like that. Thank you very much. All right, I need to speak with the doctor. So I'll see you next time. I wish I could tell them the truth. But even if she did believe me... I'd only end up worrying her. Wait, Riku! Riku? I've heard that name somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry. He's, he still has the giant eyes. He looks like Satoru from fucking Bad Apple Wars. And it's the same voice actor, but he looks like him. It's you. Huh? I've seen this kid somewhere. I took a closer look, then quickly averted my eyes, looking down. Ariku, get back to the room! Please, you have to rest! I just wanted some fresh air! You have to ask the doctor first! I'm telling you I'm fine! What if you collapse again? Come on, what's with you? You usually aren't this selfish! Well, I'm just worried about you, you understand, right? Come on, Riku, please. Fine, Mom. I'll go back. Phew. Um, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my son and I must have been noisy. Oh, no, it's fine. Son, so he's a guy? I thought so. Still, I remembered his face. That face and that name. Riku. Riku. That's what that person said. I'm sure I didn't hear it wrong. He's never been like this before. Um, is it so bad to get fresh air? He's always been a weak child. He gets ill very easily. Oh. That's why he doesn't want to go back, because in World V, he's, like, strong. But also, that's why he doesn't do things, because he probably feels like he can't... You know what? Oh, oh, poor Complex. Poor, our poor Complex lolly boy. I'm just so scared thinking about what would happen if he caught a cold. His mother, she seems so tired. She lost one son. He's caught the idiopathic coma illness and isn't often awake. The idiopathic coma. Aroya's mom said the same thing. So then Riku has it too. Uh, I'm sorry. To have to hear such things from a strange old woman. Oh no, a friend of mine is in an idiopathic coma too. I can understand that you're worried. Your friend? Yes, I think he was playing a game in his room when he collapsed. Is your friend a boy? Yes. What is it with boys and games? Mine is the same, too. Whenever he leaves the hospital, all he does is play games. I knew it. He must be an Ar Arcadia player, too. I can't bring myself to tell him no. How come? Whenever my younger son came home, my older one always wanted him to play games. He was always so excited. Oh. So he has an older brother. Yes. I knew it. That person must be... 
brother. Um, was his brother here today to pay him a visit? He's passed away. Huh? In an accident. Recently. You're the one who died! Oh, no. Oh dear, I'm sorry. And there must be something wrong with me, telling all this to a girl I just met. No, no, I'm really sorry. I was eavesdropping on your conversation. Um, would it be alright if I spoke with Riku? With Riku? Yes, we're not so different in age. I think he could use the distraction. But, and that child is shy. And he can be difficult, too. And that's okay. I'd like to be friends with him. Please? Alright, just a bit. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, Riku. Hello. I, I imagine us opening the door. Ha 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 Yeah, thanks, Riku. <laughs> Closing the door and just turning to him with a glare. And he's like, well, hello, Riku. Since that's obviously your real name. Turning our head ever so slightly to the side. But not ever so slightly. Literally turning our head so it's almost like completely upside down as far as we can turn it. To be exaggerated. What are you? Kind of like what he's doing, but further. How dare you lie to me, you scallywag. <laughs> I'm not drunk, I swear. Uh, who are you? I'm Spacey Hanamiya. You're the girl from the hallway. Sorry for not apologizing. He spoke with a grin. Maybe he doesn't want to talk, but... <laughs> you're Libera, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm glad to see you here safe. No idea what you're talking about. Libera, you... Oh, wait. Stop it. What are you doing talking to me about that? Do you want to kill me? Kill you? Did you forget what I said earlier? Said about... Oh. I heard that if you tell others about World V in real life, something bad will happen. Like, being wiped out. If you tell others. I'm not telling you about it. I'm talking to you about it. It's totally fucking different, Libera Jesus. That's right. I'm not supposed to talk about World V. Don't talk about Fight Club. What happens in Fight Club stays in Fight Club. Do you remember? Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> You're so careless. But the only ones who were there were you, Heroya, and myself. You really are Libera. So you're a guy. I had no idea. You want to tell me I'm a liar? Huh? No, that's not it. You could have told me. I was just surprised. Okay. I was just surprised. I never thought that you'd be a guy. So you never even considered it? You really are pure, aren't you? I mean... You're just so cute, Libera. Stop it. Cute? Stop trying to flatter me. It's not like that makes me happy. It does. Look at you, you're blushing. He's an adorable little lolly boy. I don't like the lolly boys. You know I don't. Like, I'm not into the lolly boys. They do nothing for me because it's already weird that we're playing a 16-year-old girl and dating, like, high school boys. So it's already a little creepy because I'm too fucking old for this shit. But, you know, okay. And then she's like, but then it's a 16-year-old girl and she's dating 22-year-olds. And you're like, well, she could be 17, I don't know, but like, whatever. Like, 17, I'm dating a 22-year-old. That's a little, that's a little weird on his part. But then you're like, well, I'm going to date this 15-year-old. Ah! Not a fan of the lolly boys. I don't know. Anyway. But you saved me and protected me. Actually, it was pretty manly of you. I'm telling you to stop saying such fake, cliched things. I'm, although, when you look at it like this and these, she looks like fucking 12. It's the... What is with the giant side bang? It's like... What is with the giant side? That's too thick. It's like half her head of hair. Why do they always give them almost terrible haircuts? What is with the terrible haircuts? Like, I don't know. But, like, they look 12. So they look perfectly matched, but it's weird. Now that you're the only one who fell for my cute looks. Thanks to that... I've never had to worry about getting items or equipment. We did get a lot of things from players around town. It really is easier being a girl. 
The world just fawns all over you. You can get them to do anything with a smile and puppy dog eyes. That's a terrible thing to say, but it's so fucking true if you're cute. If he looked like a potato and tried it, it wouldn't work. I'm just saying. Actually, that's not true. Potato lovers would do it. Oh, potatoes. I want potato. I want mashed potatoes now. Like sour cream and chives and fucking uh, and cheese. Ah. Anyway. Everyone that's helped you did so in earnest because they like you as a person. No, nah, it's because he's cute. You're an idiot. Have you seen the outfit he wears? Yeah, it's not. If he had bigger boobs, they'd have done it up for more stuff, but... Riku, people don't look after each other for no reason. They do it to feel good. And those that are strong want to show their strength to everyone around them. That's not true. And weak people like me have to butter them up and befriend them, or else we can't survive. What's wrong with lying a little bit? I get helped and they get to feel good. No problem there, right? I select those whose presence benefits me. That's human relationships for you. Then, why did you save me? He's like, uh, because you're cute. Why did you save me, even when you were faced with danger? That's because the Almighty... He began to speak, but closed his mouth. Get out. It's not funny if I die from talking about this with you. No, I won't leave. I told you to get out. No, I want to talk with you, Riku. You know I don't have control over my power. So tell me, why did you save me? I wanted to be able to trade with someone who wanted the Almighty. Until then, I thought it'd be nice to walk around with you as two girls and have a little fun. That's all. Then why did you go as far as to injure yourself just to save me? Were you really saving me for the sake of trading me off? That wouldn't be worth it. If you died in World V, you died in the real world. Everyone let everyone lives looking out for themselves. That may be true. No one wants to die. No one wants to die. That's not true, though. Some people do. And that's why suicide is a thing. And it's terrible and awful. But, like, she's like, no one wants to die. Most people don't want to die. Although I guess there's a part of every single person that... I guess that's true deep down. Nobody want, No one wants to die. But some people feel like there's no other option. So, I mean, okay. But, like, it's just weird to blanket statement that, like, everybody has a happy life! Not everybody has a happy life! Like, some people make the best of it, some people don't. Some people have great lives and are still miserable. Like, I mean... You can't blanket statement that, I guess, but... Anyway. But if that's the case, it wouldn't make sense that you would come to save me at the risk of your own life. That... Well... Tell me... I don't know. Even if you ask me... Libera... Don't call me that! What'll happen if that rumor's true? Do you want me to see you die here? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Why are you yelling? What's wrong? Nothing. Um, I said something I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Hey, you don't have to... It's almost time for his checkup. So would you mind leaving for today? No, I will. Checkup? I'm fine. I'm not hurting anywhere. It'd be too late if you were hurting. You just woke up. It'll affect your body to get all worked up like that. You always act like this. You never listen to what I have to say. I'm going to guess he was probably sick as a kid and they overreacted and like overtook care of him. And especially now that his older brother's dead. Like it's just like, and he's like, oh my God, too overprotective. I'll go home for today. But is it all right if I visit again? But considering his state, if it's a burden, I won't stay long. But I'd like to talk to him again. Do whatever you want. Riku. It's okay if she just wants to talk. Thank you. Don't get so happy. I get it already, so go home for today. I'll just lose consciousness again. Again? I knew it! Your body's still suffering! No. I just feel like that's what'll happen. It always happens. Riku spoke and winked at me, as if to signal me. Oh, 
That's right. In a bit, we'll both be sent back to World V. I have to get home. It'll be trouble if I collapse here. Go on, go home already. I'll be back. Take care of yourself. I left Riku's hospital room and noticed the nameplate next to the door. Riku Yuki. I peeked into Hiroya's room one more time, but he was still asleep. I said goodbye to his mom and left. She's like, what are you still doing here? I'm just making friends in the hospital. I should go back to Shiki's apartment. Mom and Dad would be worried if I collapsed all of a sudden. Oh, that's right. Thank you very much! Mm. Did I forget to buy anything? There was nothing in my brother's room, so I bought some simple things to eat. Milk, cereal, packaged curry, and orange juice. Yeah, this should be enough. My brother might come back while I'm unconscious. I wanted to make something for him, but I might miss him while I'm still in World V. I wonder where he is. If he's in World V, then he must be collapsed somewhere in the real world. Like how Hiroya and Riku were hospitalized with idiopathic coma. I hope that Hiroya was able to find him at the Celestial Palace. What you doing, Bogo? You squeaking. Well, no, no, don't go away! Don't go away, where you going? No, but I was nice snuggling with you. Okay, bye. I just wanted to pet you. You don't have to be a dick. Phew, I'm glad I didn't collapse. Punk on the floor instantly. I couldn't calm down, not knowing how long the time limit was. What you doing? Yeah? You gonna scavenge for some crumbs you dropped? You're really excited right now. Why are you so happy? He's like, food. You're so fucking weird. For now, I'll write a note to my brother. What else can I do? I looked around for any hints, but nothing in particular stood out. There wasn't a single piece of trash. Maybe he hasn't been back in a while. I gave up, setting down on, uh, settling down on the bed and took my phone out of my bag. That's right. I should do some research on Arcadia. I entered Arcadia into the search bar. Oh, here it is. The official page. Recent information, news, server maintenance. I clicked the link and a page appeared with the title Data Recovery Updates. The server names are in alphabetical order, just like Haroya said before. 25 servers, but no World V. Why was that? The official site had no explanation. I went back to the search engine and typed in Arcadia Server V. The sites that came up all showed discussions on the Phantom Server V and the server that went missing. Um, but these were just players spreading rumors with no substantial information. What else? I scrolled past links, skimming through before I landed on an article from an old news site. The new domestic online RPG finally gets an official release. This is two and a half years old. After half a year of testing, it was finally confirmed for official release. Acquired during beta, prep for release, earning recognition. Development began as a small venture. An interview with the team was included. My breath suddenly caught in my throat. Led by Natsu Yuki. Can you hear my voice? What is this? What's going on? Why... It's me, Natsu. It's your brother. It can't be. Natsu Yuki is... Riku's... It's Libera's older brother. This is... No! This is... Twilight Capital. I guess that light was me getting sent back to World V. Don't you remember what everyone said about your home point? Libera, I'm so glad you're here. Our return times were the same, and our home points were the same, so obviously we would meet. This is a little awkward. I want to ask him so many things. About himself and about his brother. Natsuyuki, the head of the development team that created Arcadia. I wanted to do a little more research. The quest we got was low level. That's why we only had a short time there. If I were stronger, we would have had more time to talk in the real world. Hey! Spacey's back! Ira, uh! Ira hugged me tightly in her small arms. Jeez! I was so worried! I'm sorry to make you worry. I'm glad you're safe, too. Hey, welcome back. I, 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 I'm 
so glad. I'm so glad you're safe. Phew! Seriously, what a relief. I'm really sorry to have worried you. And now, uh, we're really sorry too for losing sight of you. Huh, I never thought the boss would show up on the complete opposite side. If you died, and then I wouldn't know what to do. Besides that, oh, why did you keep quiet? Huh? Uh, keep quiet about what? You play dumb! Iris saw it! Iris saw you use the power of the Almighty! Oh. Well, why didn't you tell us? And Jokas, you knew about it and said nothing! I told you, it was for her sake. What? Did you think Ira was going to do something terrible to this girl? And that's not it. Um, I'm sorry I kept quiet about it. So much had happened. What do you mean, so much? Man, I start level, but I didn't even notice her race. Me neither. Hey, Spacey, join Forte! Me? Into your guys' party? The Almighty is super strong. Nothing else would have that area of effect. Besides, it's specially designed to defeat the monsters in the Ark, right? If you come with us, finishing the Ark should be a piece of cake! But I don't know what I need to do in order to use it. But weren't you able to before? Yes, twice now. Hmm, maybe there's something that acts as a trigger to activate it. It, it would be really great if we could fight with you, uh, but we won't force you. You're still at a low level. If something were to happen, you'd die. True. Even if you could use it at will, it doesn't seem like you could spam it. We just need to protect her. The Almighty's worth that much. What should I do? I want to help. What? Is there something you want to say to me? Yeah, well... If you want to join, then join. Do what you want. I'm not going to do the arc, sorry. should too are you kidding i mean i couldn't even keep up at my level <sighs> guess i screwed up i was gonna keep quiet about the almighty and use her my benefit and that's why you were being so nice yep there's no reason to be nice if there wasn't anything to gain from it Th that's you're starting to get on my nerves that's why i separated you from Haroya. But now my plan's gonna waste. Huh? He was in the way. He kept saying, I'll protect you. He's not that high level, but he was still cocky just because you're a girl. Well, at least he fell for it. I didn't think he'd doubt that made-up story. Made-up story? You mean when you said you knew my brother? Yeah, I should have kind of figured that that was bullshit. But, you know, you didn't want to think Liberia was being a douche hole. But like, oh, hey, remember that Regulus guy? I think I, yeah, and then he was, and then he went, and he was like, what? No, never heard of him. And he's like, oh, wait, I think I did. And it just seemed really random. I was like, wait, what? Like, it seemed random, but I wasn't really thinking, like, I wasn't paying too much attention to it. Like, that sounds shady. It was like, I just figured it was crappy writing. <laughs> I guess I was, I was more like, that seems shoehorned in there, but okay, sure. But it did seem a little odd, but I wasn't thinking that Liberia was being shady. I was just like. What? Okay. Sure. Tim, did you get in here and fuck up the writing? <laughs> okay. I thought I could get rid of him if I told him to go to the Celestial Palace. Team Insania is part of that's been missing for a while now. There's no way you'd find them. No, I know I'm giving his voice all wrong. You're horrible. It's her fault for being so gullible. She didn't bother to do any research. The story was convenient enough for her. Not my fault that she's lazy. Hey, Libera, you lied and now you have the gall to say that? And this girl logged in for the very first time, and you call that being lazy. What do you expect her to do or think in the middle of Minta Woods? And not like any of you can talk. What'd you say? You guys are trying to get her to the Ark, even though her level's so low. That's... You just keep telling her it'll be fine when you have no proof. That's almost like lying, too, no? That's so not cool! Ira... You know deep down that cowards lie, but you're acting like you're right! I'm not wrong. 
It's other people's fault for being tricked. Everyone thinks they're so innocent. You keep making up excuses like that, but the one thing you can't trick is your own heart. You'll always remember. If you regret it, then apologize. That's really uncool of you, Libera. Fine, fine, I get it. I'm the one that's wrong here, all right? Sorry. Libera. Well, that's that. Later. Wait, Libera, where are you going? I go where I want. There's nothing in it for me being with you. Besides, I can't be with someone who keeps going on about this and that. Going on about... Oh, you mean in the real world? It must be hard to be around me since we kind of had an argument back there. Is that why he started all this? Because he wants to get away from me? So you're just gonna run away? Yeah. That's what I'd be like. So you're just gonna run away? That's exactly what I would say. I would never... Ever, I would fail this route so hard if I did it on my own. Because I'd be like, so you're just going to run away like a little bitch? Fuck. That's why I don't like the lolly boys. God, they're so aggravating. Anyway. Wait, I still want to talk to you. We haven't talked very much at all. There's nothing else to talk about. Don't bore yourself. And that's not true. I want to know more about you, Libera. What you're thinking. What you want to do. I want to know more. Stop acting like such a good girl. I know what you really think of me. I went through all this to make sure there wouldn't be any trouble in the game or the real world. But now, it's all your fault. Wait, Libera! <sighs> that child. She didn't have to be that way. I'll never talk to her again unless she says she's sorry! Well... She's not one to go out in the field, so she'll probably be in town. Just let her be until she cools down. Libera. Quest 5. Well, if we're just standing around talking, might as well go to the inn. Yeah. Ira agrees! Ira wants to drink Domina's Lassie! Y yes, I agree. I'm a bit tired. Is that okay with you too, Spacey? Yes, is it alright if I join? Of course it is. My bear will come back in a better mood in a while anyway. I hope so. Hmm? Hmm? What's this? System message? Oh! I got one too! Oh, the thing. Already. Me too. I looked around and all of the other players were looking at each other. It's a message like the welcome one from the first time, right? Right, and the second one that came recently about the Trinity of Swords. A global message. I just hope it isn't anything troublesome. D don't say scary things like that. It is, it's the Jaws of Death. I wonder what's written in it. The title read, World V System has been updated. The spawn radius and speed of the Jaws of Death have greatly increased. Players, please take caution. Additionally, we have implemented an expansion for portals to the Ark. We welcome players to take advantage of the easier points of access. This... wait, what is this? This basically must mean that it's no longer safe in town. What? But there's no way we can clear the Ark. There are some strong players facing it now. We'll clear it soon, right? Does the message mean that if the Ark isn't cleared, everyone will die? Jeez. What a turn of events this is. Just a warning to not take it easy. Um, sorry. What are the Jaws of Death? Is that a monster? It's a bit different from a monster. It's this mist that annihilates anything it touches. Anything in World V, whether a house or a part of the field, disappears once it makes contact. Players, too, of course. I guess it's closer to data corruption than it is to actual damage. Why does something so scary exist? I guess it's a warning to us from the creator of World V to not sit around. We have to go. If we stay here, we'll disappear with all of World V. We just need to get to finishing the arc, right? What's the problem? But, but what if we don't f finish it in time? You have to 
a little confidence. Also, demon players are toast if the angels hurry and finish the Ark first. Oh, yeah. Weren't they forming a huge group to clear the Ark? Right. I just hope they don't go all out after seeing this message. The number of people doesn't matter. Everyone has to cooperate, too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the challenge with big groups is getting everyone to move together and know each other's roles. Though, it's not like we've ever bumped into any angels in the Ark. Th they might be much further. Hey, uh, stop with the negativity already. Well, for now, let's just get into the inn, and there could be trouble brewing. Trouble? How come? Definitely some idiots who will blame us for not clearing the Ark yet. And then there's her. Me? Grins with stu stupid grin on face. Me? Ha ha ha, why? Yeah. You're the almighty after all. They'll probably want to force you over there. Like, why? Why would you? Why would uh, me? Why me? It's not like I'm special, but I am. I, I have an extra robe. Miserius swiftly handed me a long hooded robe. It's no use hiding her. They just need to look at her stats. That'll be it. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I feel safer hiding my face. Thank you very much, Miseria. Everyone's on your side, Speezy. So please don't worry. Thank you. That's very reassuring. Why do we have to sneak around? It's not like we did anything bad. If they have a problem, they can finish it themselves. Not like they could. Calm down, princess. I just mean we shouldn't waste any energy arguing. Huh! Welcome back, everyone. We're back! Ira wants to drink glassy! Alright, just a minute. Ugh, I want a beer. You didn't have one in the real world. I didn't have that kind of time. Um, I'd like some tea. You want to make it an herbal tea? It's nice and relaxing. I'll take a cafe latte. What about you, Speezy? Huh? Oh, oh. How about the owner's special, rec uh, the owner's special recommended drink of the day? There's nothing like that on the menu. Unfortunately, it's for cute girls only. I'm sorry. Ugh, so that's it, huh? <sighs> Marco's so adorable. Anyway... Don't you think it'd be better to talk in your rooms than out here? I'd like to do that. Why? I want to talk to Domina! Although I'd love to chat, the air's been really tense given the situation. A lot of people have been looking this way for a while now. Don't mind them! Speezy, in particular. Oh, that reminds me. Where's Libera? She didn't come by. I haven't seen her since you guys left for the special quest. Oh, what happened? Oh, we had a bit of a fight. A fight? Libera? That's unusual. True, but she wasn't like herself. She didn't strike me as a girl that would talk like that normally. And she went out of her way to attack us with such hostility. We just sort of reacted and lost our cool and got angry at her too. I don't think it was good. That all of us yelled at her like that. But we weren't wrong. We let it go if she said sorry, but she wouldn't at all. Here, Alassie's ready. And drink up. I thought we'd finally be friends by going on the quest together. Dumb. She must have a lot going on, too. Oh, when she cools down, she'll come back. Well, with the system message, I'll be worried if I don't see her soon. She wouldn't go in the field, so maybe she wouldn't get caught by the Jaws. Yeah, and it's not like she'd be so desperate that she'd dive into the Ark. The Jaws of Death and the Ark. If only I could harness the powers of the Almighty, I could save everyone. <laughs> if we don't finish in time, everyone will die. There has to be something I can do. Oh! Come to think of it. Where's Heroya? Heroi has been traveling across the field to get to the Celestial Palace. If he gets swallowed up by the jaws of death... Um, Domina, 
how much time has passed since we left for the special quest? Well, let's see. Uh, probably around two days. If so, then there should be a message from him. We promised to write to each other. Nothing. I would message him and be like, I'm worried about you. Where are you? I went on a special quest to the real world. Your body's in the hospital. Libera lied. She has no idea who my brother is. Please come back. Well, what's wrong? There's no message here from Heroya. My fingers stumbled out a message. Heroya, I'm sorry I couldn't write you. Where are you now? I'm really worried about you. If you see this, please contact me. I waited for a while, but no response. Maybe he just didn't see it. It was nighttime when he messaged me before. Still, I couldn't feel at ease. They said the jaws of death were faster now. I wonder by how much. Who knows? I don't have a clue. What do I do? Oh, there you all are, Poyo! Poyo, Poyo! Spacey! I'm so glad you're safe, Poyo! <laughs> Poyo, Poyo is kind of fucking adorable in like a creepy, chibi kind of way. You're like, oh, he's kind of adorable. But like, I don't want to, I can't believe we're going to have a path with him. It's not, not, anyway. Hey, didn't you say you'd be sticking close to her in Libera? That's right. During the special quest, you just disappeared, Poyo, Poyo. Well, and that's... Boyle Boyle was scared, so he ran away, Boyle. Dee, Boyle. What the heck? You're terrible. Can't be helped. Boyle Boyle's weak. Hmm. Miss Basie, why are you so sad, Boyle? I'm going to go find Arroya. Whoa, hey, wait, wait. What's gotten into you? She didn't get a message from Horoya while we were gone. Oh, you mentioned he was going to the Celestial Palace, didn't you? And that's what Liberia lied about, right? But Horoya still doesn't know that, and he must still be traveling. If Horoya runs into the jaws of death on the field. Even so, if you go out to find him, you'll just get lost too. I understand you can't just sit around. Uh, but just calm down first, okay? Everyone's right. Heroya had a head start on me. I can't catch up to him. Besides, what would I be able to do if I can't even defend myself? Hey, you should rest for a bit. And there's an open room at the back on the second floor. Here, take the room key. I had a room, what the fuck? And drink this cocoa. It'll warm you up. Yeah, okay. It was dark out. The cocoa got cold, and she went to the trouble of making it for me. I kept checking for messages, but each time I was disappointed. With a sigh, I fell onto the bed. This might be the first time I've been alone since first coming to World V. I remember what it felt like to wander through the forest. I wonder if Poyo Poyo disappeared and went to Heroya. But the situation is different. The bed was warm and soft. It was safe, and there were friends who I could talk to, just steps from my room. I still feel so anxious and helpless. Neither Heroya nor Libera were here. I was worried when Heroya first set out, but back then... <sighs> Libera was right at my side, so it wasn't painful. No, in fact... It was really fun. Libera kept me from being depressed. I wonder if he had fun, too. Or was he just faking it in order to keep me near him? I felt a prick of pain in my chest. No, I want to believe he had fun. Oh, it's nice. It's it, these games. When, like, somebody, like, fucking Liberia tricks you and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I want to believe in them. And it's like, they always come out shining in the end. Like, I knew believing in you was right. But in the real world, when you believe in someone, they just rip your heart out, light it on fire stomp on it, like, like, chop up the, ad. like, it's just, it's just brutal, and you're like, oh, that yeah, was wrong. So, like, you know, the Debbie Downer in me is like, no, don't bother having faith in him, he's a douche, he's never gonna change, but you know in this he's gonna be like, 
come to our rescue and like, oh, you change and you're better for it, even though you're kind of a salty little prick. I understand. I mean, if he's always sick, he's overprotected. If his brother died, he's kind of just like, you know, he's always been a weak little kid. So in the game world, like, I, but he gets things from people by just batting his eyes and like whatever. But yeah, but he's still the lolly boy. He's kind of like, so I don't know. I, I, and the thing that I read, everyone's like, oh, I like Liberia. I'm not really, I'm not a Liberia fan. I mean, maybe the end of the road, oh, we're going to have moments. Oh, we do. But for the most part, overall, I'm just like, meh. Your overall character is, the character is good. Like, the depth of the character is good. But personally, I find no attachment to the character. But he was so desperate to save me, even though he had fight, oh, even though he hated fighting so much. I was like, what? I can't read. He chose to risk his life to save me. He could have just run off and left me there. In a game, I can do anything. What he said back then. Now I understand what he meant. What you doing? <sighs> He's always been a weak child. And he gets ill very easily. I'm just so scared thinking about what would happen if he caught a cold. He gets admitted into hospitals and can't even go outside when he wants to. But in World V, he's living an active life with lots of friends. Yet, yeah, see. Now I really know what he meant. When he said he'll do what he wants. In World V, you had the freedom to do anything you wanted to do. He could fight enemies one-on-one -on -one and even help players who couldn't do anything for themselves. Like me. So yeah, he doesn't want to go back to the real world, but this world's going to be destroyed. He must have been really happy. The reason why I didn't doubt Libero was because he honestly seemed like he really enjoyed World V. He smiled for me when I felt down and stayed the same cheerful Libera. That's why I didn't feel bad at all. Because I had fun being with him. Libera said countless times, I don't want to go to the Ark. I thought it was because he didn't want to fight. But it might be more that he wanted to stay in World V. Telling lies to hide his loneliness. My heart stung thinking about it. What do I do? I want to see him. I want to see him and tell him. Come back with me, Libera. Riku. I want to be the one this time to tell him it'll be all right. That he's safe. Just like how Liberia cheered me up here in World V. What was that? Surprised, I jumped out of bed. Uh, another one? Is this an earthquake? Does World V have earthquakes? Something must have happened. I should go ask Domina. Miss PC, are you weak? Miseria, hold on, I'm coming. What's wrong? Well, uh, um, we, we have to escape outside quickly. Did something happen? The, the jaws of death. The jaws of death? You mean... <coughs> Miseria! As I held the crouching Miseria, I looked over my shoulder, down the hall. I saw it. It was black. Incredibly black. I don't know, that looks like a really cool... Ooh, I want to go, it looks like outer space. I couldn't see the stairs behind it. It can't be just because it's night. Gone were the skylight windows and the lamps that lit up the floor. It's as if they all had disappeared. Frightened, I closed the door. We're stuck. What do I do? The door wouldn't be able to protect us. It destroyed anything it touched. The jaws of death... It's spreading all over town. Even here... At the tavern! Where are Domina and the others? They scattered outside. Miseria, did you come here to get me? No, I, I was late in getting out. I couldn't go through the entrance, so... What should we do? I, I can't... Go on. I I'm shaking all over. Did you come to save me? No, I couldn't get out. You all were gonna leave me here. What a bunch of dickholes. You're supposed to be, we're so glad you're safe! No thanks to you, fuckholes. The hell? We have to get away, too. Because you know damn well Spacey would be like, Who's left in there? I must go save them! Like, Spacey, it's just a fucking caterpillar. Leave it. No! I have to save it! I would save the caterpillar, too, but... But, but, how? We can't get out through the hallway. Jump out the window. 
Zeria, this way! Through the window! Da -da! I'm fucking smart. But this is the second floor! It'll be fine! I spoke quickly and took Miseria's hand. We can't give up! <laughs> I looked out the window and saw the black fog... Black fog... Yeah. Black fog along the edge of the inn. A darkness much different from night. It had us surrounded. As it oozed and warped around the building, small sparks burst forth. The building is breaking down. It sounds like it seriously sounds like the book in Harry Potter, the like the care of magical creatures ones that Hagrid gave them. Like, Choke the spine and like, but that's what I feel like it sounds like. It sounds like this fucking monster book is like eating everything. That would have been fucking hilarious. Hi, what you doing, booger? I, I can't do it. Miseria, stand up. Look, uh, there are still people in the inn. Uh, they've been left behind. It's no good. We can't get in. There! Spacey! That voice! Mirko! Are you okay? Where's Miseria? She's okay. She's here. Okay. The both of you climb out. I'll follow the wall to your left. There are some shrubs on that side. I'm gonna give you the signal. Jump! I... I can't... I can't do it! Quit saying you can't hurry up! Mirko... There's no way he could have heard Miseria's quiet voice. I, I can't. I'll die. I said there's no time to cry. I can't. I'm so scared. There's never been anything you couldn't do that I said you could. Quit griping. Do it. I'm telling you, I know you can do it. Oh my god, you should totally date Murgo, Miseria. Like, that's just like, he's so like, I love it. I, I can do it. R really? She's listening. That's amazing. They had fought together for so long. I felt kind of jealous. If someone told that to me, maybe Libera wouldn't have left. Now, now's not the time to be thinking about that. I couldn't regret what I wasn't able to accomplish or pity myself for being all alone. When I see him again, I want to tell him I was able to do something. I want to show him I can do even more if I'm with him. Ah, get out! Suddenly, the darkness burst through. Let's go, Miseria. If Murgo said you can do it, then you'll be all right. Quickly! Uh, okay. <laughs> we climbed out and made our way, holding onto the protrusions on the brick wall. <sighs> Don't look down! No, I can't do it! Yes, you can! Miseria, just a bit more! Miseria, don't worry about dying if you fall, because I'm here! You idiot! Don't say she's gonna fall! I'm just telling the truth. Chuckus is there, too. Relieved, I turned to see where he was. Spacey! Miseria's face started moving further away as if in slow motion. I turned to look where he was and I fell! Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. We were being the strong one for the wimpy whiny girl and we fall like a dumb fuck. I'm falling. I could die. What do I do? Someone... Libera... Protect! Protégé! That was Libera, come on. That's why the voice is question mark, question mark, question mark. Jeez, what are you doing? I heard a voice near me yelling. Why are you hurrying? Get away! Did you want to die? Libera was here, scolding me. If my incantation didn't make it in time... You would have died from the fall damage. Do you understand? He saved me again. We had separated on such bad terms, but he rushed back here to my rescue. <sighs> even with the jaws of death so close. Even at the risk of his own life. He would have died saving someone else while you can hardly handle taking care of yourself. Are you stupid? The people that can throw away their own lives so easily... I hate them. Riku, who couldn't leave the hospital... His brother, who passed away. Libero, who didn't want to clear the Ark and didn't want to fight. I hate them. Libero, I'm sorry. I understood then. I understood how close death was to him and how scared of it he actually was. That's why I'm happy. Libero's kindness that he rescued me makes me happier than anything. Thank you for coming back. Hey, wait. 
Why are you crying? I really wanted to see you. Stop lying. You were having fun with everyone from Forte. I thought that I couldn't keep relying on others. That I need to get stronger. But I knew, even back then, that I wanted to be with you, Libera. Once I said that, they wouldn't stop. Not my words or my tears. I want to be with you, Libera. You're crying too much, crybaby. Hey, are you alright? Are you hurt? Mergo, Jokus. You're late. What were you doing? I'm alright. What about Miseria? She's alright. Thanks to your encouragement, she got outside. She's unconscious and sleeping like a rock, but she's not super injured. I'm glad. You shouldn't be worrying about others. A droplets of grace. Unus los. <laughs> Joka said his incantation, and the pain in my body disappeared. Oh, I was injured. I finally realized that I hadn't even let myself feel pain. So, are you alright? Yes, thank you so much. Alright, can you hold on to Libera for me then? I'm gonna heal her, so hang on to her so she doesn't run away. Shut up! Even using magic to lessen the damage, it was still rash of you to try and catch someone falling from above. Well, that's... That's because you all couldn't protect her properly. It's not like I intended on doing this either. Ow! Libera, are you alright? I'm fine. Jaka said he'd heal me. I wouldn't do anything stupid enough to kill myself. I'm not you. The end! The inn disappeared in front of us. It's gone. Domina's everyone's precious home. So it's finally here. Hey, you guys. Oh, what are you doing? Hurry up and get away. Domina, you're okay. I'm glad you all are too. Let's escape for now and talk later. Okay. Onus Los. Chi, thanks. You're very welcome. I run a group of players are waiting at the entrance to the town. Uh, go now. What about you guys? And don't tell me you'll try some noble act like holding it back so we can go on ahead. Are you? No way. We never try to stand against something we'd never be able to defeat. Here we go, my lady. Upsy daisy. What are you doing? All you youngsters try to keep up. Alright, we should get going. Huh! Chuckus, that's a lot of luggage. And just a few things from Domina's Inn. I like food and supplies. It's not like we can come back to get him if the jaws pass through here. How did you get okay? Alright, pause. Fucking hashtag pause. Hashtag what the fuck? None of your lazy motherfucking asses could have come upstairs and been like, Spacer, get the fuck out! The jaws of death! But you had time to grab food and supplies? The jaws are here. Grab food and supplies! Ah! They run out. Miseria, were you coming to get me? No, I just was too slow to make it out. Fuck all of you! What the balls? What a bag of douches our friends are. What a bun- I'm so- Well, I mean, you know what? I'm not saying- Good job grabbing the food, but not one of you assholes could have come upstairs to get me. You were just going to let me die? Like, you didn't even att- Rude! I'm the almighty, you bitches! <laughs> First of all, I'm your friend, so you should have come and got me. Second of all, I'm the almighty, so you should have come and gotten me. What the fuck? Anyway. Jeez, it's even worse than a fire. I guess I can help carry a few things at least. Ha! <laughs> So now you finally start. I I'm trying to be helpful here. Sorry, sorry. I'm alright, though. More importantly, since I'm using both of my hands, I can't use magic as quickly. So take care of her. Uh, uh, of course I will. <sniffs> Come on. Let's go, Spacey. Okay, this is a perfect place to stop. Oh, my God. It's, like, all fucking over in the middle of nowhere. Okay, anyway. <sniffs> 
Um, don't read that we ran away. You can still read it through the thing, so it doesn't help. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. Uh, we will continue in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank you.